where are the permanent journals stored until you can copy them to disk or tape? Here's where they're stored. A before journal always stores its rows on the same AMP that made the change. An after journal always stores its row on its buddy AMP for safekeeping. Let's think about that. Why would they store a before journal on the same AMP and an after journal on a buddy AMP? Logically, it does make sense. We have a before journal stored permanently in case the programmer was told, hey, I want you to give them a 10% raise, not a 100% raise. Oops, it's a programming mistake. It's a logical mistake, not a hardware failure. So we can roll back in time, so we might as well keep it on the same amp that had the change. Because it's not a hardware issue. It's not a failure issue. It's a mind failure issue. Okay? So the after journal's different. We have an after journal in case there's a disaster where we're using this as part of our backup and restore plan. And that's involved a hardware failure. So whenever they take an after journal, they actually say, okay, we're going to take a picture after the change and we'll store it on this buddy amp in case something happens to me personally. We know that data is still stored out there on my buddy. After journals are never stored in the same node or the same clique. When we talk about fallback, each amp has a buddy in the cluster. Those are never in the same node or in the same clique either because if we lose an entire node, it's okay. If we lose an entire clique, everything's still okay because our buddy is always in another location. A little bit like you having a buddy in a different city or state. A dual after journal actually stores two after pictures of the row being changed. One of those pictures is on the same amp that made the change and another picture is on its a buddy amp. When you create a table, if you just say, I want a journal, it's going to store a before image of any changed row on the same amp, and it's going to store an after image of any changed row on its buddy amp in a different node, in a different clique. In this example, we've created a table with fallback, with a before journal and an after journal. You can do this. Commonly, you will see a strategy of either, I want my tables fall back protected, and I'm not going to do much about the backup strategy. Or they'll say, no, I don't need any fallback. I'm going to use my after journal and full system backup concept to protect that data. Don't always see them both. How does fallback affect journaling? Well, fallback copies the rows of its buddy amp. So in this case, since you're getting journaling, it's also going to make another copy there. So it's double the space. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Click on the choice below to learn more about Nexus's amazing features.